play a recording of people chanting, that is embarrassing, four times. After the fourth time, write down what you hear. Interesting. Almost everyone here heard that is embarrassing. Listen again. Watch the screen. You heard the same thing every single time. Our eyes and ears take in electrical signals which our brains interpret based on our expectations. We don't see reality. We see our reality. I remember seeing the actual video about a year or so ago. And I thought, wow, that's amazing, like how our brains work. And then seeing this part just reminded me even more so that how we formulate our own reality based on what our brain expectations are. The life that you're living now is based on what you have been trained to expect life to be. Unless you decide what your life is going to be, your life will be whatever your dominant influence has decided for your life to be. If you are following any religion, it is not because some deity, whether it's Allah or Jehovah, Yahweh, Yahushua, or Brahma, or you know, Kali or, you know, any of these deities came into your life. You're following it because you've been programmed to follow it. Even if you haven't been going to a church all your life, even if you haven't been going to a temple all your life, is what you've been surrounded by all your life. Is what resonates with you when you go through some type of traumatic emotional situation that draws you into a situation where this is now your reality. And for those who grew up in a church, once you start experiencing certain things in around your 12, 11, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15 year old time frame of your life, you start to equate those with what you've been trained to believe that those things come from. Oh, you scored the winning touchdown. God did it for you. Oh, you made it through a dangerous situation. God did it for you. You completed high school. God did it for you. You completed college. God did it for you. You got this job. God did it for you. Everything you did in your life, God did it for you. Whatever God you believe, that's the God that did it for you. Because of whatever happened to you, you were healed. You got over this drug issue. You stopped drinking. You found this great mate to be with. There's a Muslim. There's a Hindu. Indus. There's a, a Buddhist. There's a a Christian, there is a Hebrew, a Jew that all have the same experience as you do. But you will say that theirs is demonic. Yet to them, so is yours. Because reality is perspective based. So I would ask you to step back from your own perspective of life and truly look at what the perceptions are. Of life. I might say that in reverse. <laughs> look at the perceptions that you've been given and take and look at what the per, true perspective is to see what life really is, how all universal forces work together. As I sit here in front of my fire pit and I watch the wood burn, what I'm seeing is energy transmutation. I'm seeing the wood based on the increase of vibration transmute the energy of the wood into fire, which then it becomes smoke and it becomes ashes. And these ashes have flown all over the place. And in a million years, the ash from this fire could be a tool, could be a medicine, could be anything, demonstrating that there's no such thing as death, just transmutation from one form to another form to another form. All religions have done the same thing. All nations have done the same thing. They transmute from one religion to another religion to another religion. There was a time where there was no Christianity. There was no Indus. There was no Judaism. There was no uh, 
Islam. There was none of these religions. There was animalism. And even before that, there was probably something else that we do not know. But all of them, a million years, well, hundreds, of, a couple of thousand, 10, 20,000 years ago, they all worked their way to become what we have today in religion. Every aspect of the universe works its way to become something else. Your consciousness works the same way. Your consciousness don't know what it was 10,000 years ago, but it has worked its way to become you right now, your physical body. And it's made up of all different parts of energy from the universe to co correlate, to become you. And so is your consciousness. And the fact that anybody can tell you that you're going to heaven or hell is a lie because it's based on what they perceive the world to be based on their conditioning and their training. But your consciousness becomes what you decide that is going to be. It goes where you decide it is going to go. Stop letting others decide for you. Become the causation through your abilities, your own mental ability, become the causations of your life and become the causation of your afterlife. You have a great day. And remember always, you got to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibrations.